Well, with those scorching temperatures in our forecast today, local leaders are reminding you not to leave your kids in the car. It happened in Texas with a deadly consequence. A five year old boy is dead after being left inside of a hot car. Police say the boy's mom assumed he had gotten out of the car, but she found him unresponsive. Hours later, the child died at the scene. Now, this isn't the first time this has happened this year. We want to take you to this case here in Georgia. A mother was arrested last week for leaving her kids in a hot car during dangerously high temperatures. That woman is now facing serious charges with the possibility of spending five to 20 years in prison if convicted. And here in Northwest Ohio, we're working with Lucas County Children's Services to prevent tragedies like that. Zainab Shayib joins us live with them now on what you can do to make sure this doesn't happen here. So Zainab, incidents like hot car deaths can happen within minutes. Yes, that's right, Tim. And you know, Lucas County Children's Services are really, really making sure that parents and caregivers are aware of the dangers of leaving your children in a hot vehicle. Now with us is Kevin Milliken. He is with Lucas County Children's Services. Now, Kevin, this can happen really quickly. And in fact, it happens quite more often than we think. In 2018 and 2019, despite the best efforts of our Beat the Heat Check the Backseat campaign and others across the country, 53 children died in 2018 and again in 2019. So it can happen just about any time. That's every nine days during the summer. It's about 70 degrees right now. Your car in almost an instant can be 115 degrees on the inside, even at 70 degrees. So you add 30 degrees and a heat index to that, you're just asking for trouble. Now, Kevin, it is actually a lot easier to forget your child in a car than we think, too, right? Absolutely. Ch take rear-facing child safety seats, for instance. Mm -hmm. You can't see from the driver's uh, position whether there's a child in there or not. It's easy to get on your to-do list that might read like a Roman scroll. Yeah. Go about your day. Go into the grocery store for five minutes. Ah, no big deal. Mm -hmm. Well-meaning people have forgotten, and it's ended in tragedy, you know, Put something in the back seat, your purse, your briefcase, whatever, that's going to cause you to check the back seat and beat the heat. So what is the rule of thumb if we do see a child in the back seat and it's a hot day like today? Get involved. Child protection is everybody's business every day, but especially on a day like today. If you see a child on a 100 degree day, 90 degree day, call 911 to get them out of there. And if you see them in distress, you've got to take action because their body is already shutting down on them. Once a child shows distress, their body is already at its limit. Kevin, thank you so much for all those helpful tips. Now you're going to want to stick with us next hour because our Ryan Weekman is actually going to break down how hot a car can actually get on a day like today. So you don't want to miss it. Live in downtown Toledo, Zainab Shaib for WTOL 11.